that is literally so cute. Oh my goodness. Hello friends, it's a little talk, it's in the evening. Welcome back to my channel. I have not recorded in such a long time, so much has changed, God has been so good. I moved out with my brother into basically my own first big girl place. I am working in full-time ministry. Um, <laughs> when God did it. So anyway, I chose the most aesthetic background of here. And so today was my day off. So I work Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Sat uh, Fridays, and then I have Saturdays off and then Mondays off. And so today is Monday, uh, Monday, March 6th. Today was my day off. And I actually spent the day relaxing at home, cleaning because my house is a mess. And I want to show you guys, it is almost quarter to nine and I'm literally getting ready for bed because the when you're working full time, the earlier you sleep, I don't know, it's like a switch. You just need to sleep early because I'm waking up around uh, like half past four to five um, so that I can leave here by six for work. And so, yeah, I need to be going to bed. But hi, welcome back to my channel. So crazy. What got it? shedding so there's no electricity but i was just doing my bible study um with solomon's porch i'm so excited we have a zoom meeting in about an hour um and the view outside is magical like i'm gonna try and take a video but it's getting dark so you might not see it but it just feels like the view outside my backyard feels like i'm in a garden in a forest and it just is such god's blessing like are you freaking kidding me it's just been storming and you can see this traffic over there, but I literally feel like I'm in a secret garden. Um, the reason I wanted to film this video is that when I was searching for a video like this, I couldn't find one. And that is basically what it's like working in full-time ministry. And so um, I finished studying my undergrad for biokinetics last year. I was planning to do my honors this year. And then in December, I got a call. One of my pastors was asking, like, what are my plans for next year? Would I be interested in this position that is opened up? And I was like, um, absolutely not. I am doing honors. Um, but the Lord really just worked on my heart. And really, you know, because I was praying, and I was like, oh, okay, Lord, like, now here's this opportunity. Is this from you or is this from me? And is this something I'm trying to force? And I've always, always, always wanted to be, not always. I think the Lord has more and more for the last, like, three years, definitely, put this desire in my heart to be a full-time missionary and to be a missionary in some sort of capacity. So I was asking the Lord, how does biokinetics and being a missionary reconcile and can he get me a foot in the door in the right way because it has to be God. Um, and then this position came up and so I actually decided to go into full-time ministry. I'm on staff at my church um, and basically what I do is two things. I do all the communications. Um, so like with the church, any when the church needs to know anything that is me, the website, social media, um, all of that and then the other part of my job is pastoral work so i support the pastoral team and do a lot of that um, and i'm yeah basically a support to the pastoral team um and so it's been so interesting working in full-time ministry and i searched youtube so hard because i was like i just need a video that shows like what full-time ministry is and so yeah i don't know if this is the best accurate um representation but here it is and this week has just been so so crazy um 
Yeah, so I work Tuesdays to Fridays. I'm off on Saturdays. I work on Sundays, and then I work. I'm off on Mondays. So yeah, this week has just been so busy because we have baptisms and child dedications coming up on Sunday, and I'm also off this Sunday, so I have to get all of that prepped and ready and you know communicated because I won't be there. And there's just Easter is coming up, so that's a big weekend for us. So things are a little bit crazy, um, but by the grace of God, I have been making it through. And tonight is Friday. I mean, today is Friday, so I've got a confession now. Then I'm gonna go to work, and then I have youth tonight, and I'm actually speaking at youth tonight, which another crazy story of how God has just um, been laying this message on my heart about the world and the influence of culture, and I wasn't supposed to be speaking at youth tonight, but He's just been laying the message that's supposed to be spoken tonight. And then it ends up being that I'm actually speaking at youth tonight and it's the way that that's going to just work out. So thank you Jesus for that. Um, and then tomorrow I am actually going to Ultra with the Red Frogs, um, which is also exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, a little nervous, so excited to see everyone who else I'm going to grace with. Um, and then yeah, Sunday I have off, Monday I have off because I will get home like Sunday probably at like 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> So yeah, and then and then back to work. So yeah, I I wanted to take you along with me, and I think it's been such a, a different, you know, working out at church is just so interesting. Um, and gosh, I will get into all those thoughts in a while, like when I combobulate them, when I like compose those thoughts, because working at a church, I'm actually just gonna read you this text. This whole text fell, fell apart. I just want to do a good job. Working at a church has been one of the most interesting things. It is so refining, um, but it is also incredible because not many people get to work in such an environment. And then, yeah, like we, an environment where you're encouraged to pray, an environment where you're literally doing like specific training around leadership and biblical leadership and all this stuff. And, you know, like literally working with the church and helping to build God's kingdom, um, which wherever you work, you are a part of God's kingdom. And a part of the church but especially working in the church so yeah you know um thank you so much for tuning in uh, so yeah i'm gonna finish off this type of thing because I, I thought i did a good job and then i'm gonna eat some breakfast i'm gonna pray for my talk and then i'm gonna do this confession and then finish up and go to work <laughs> crazy so i literally just put this bandana on and i look like i've just woken up which i have um but hello friend hi so i just wanted to come on here in this video i'm gonna start a new video and i did not a great job of showing what my week looks like um but it was such a chaotic week and i feel like this vlog reflects that um yeah and i think gosh this weekend so serving at ultra saturday into sunday night with the red frogs was and it's always God always does so much in my life. Um, I literally sent one of my friends like a 15 minute voice note of <laughs> everything that happened. But sure, I really felt like this one. God did a lot in me, first and foremost. I'm sorry, I've just woken up, so that's why I look. <laughs> um, but I feel like for this one, God really did so much in me. Um, and I've never felt more like myself. I've never felt more... You know, God just reminded me of who he is and also reminded me of Matthew 28, 19, I think, or 20, that in Shilly I am with you to the very end of the age. And I think he knew we would need that reminder because of how big the mission is to go and make disciples. And it's not our job to save people, but it's our job to share the gospel with them. And so, yeah, yo, and God just reminded me how great the cost is of following him. And, you know, like, even with missionary work and, and just in general how great the cost is and he knew we'd need that reminder because of how big the job is um, and also how big his job is was getting so sad because like oh god that's such a massive job we can find you know, to um, but anyway <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for 
in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was chaotic, although it was very funny video. Um, and just, yeah.